For migrants and their children, Italy is still not a level playing field. It takes roughly 10 years to be granted citizenship, and in that time they aren't allowed to vote. In fact, they have few rights at all. Changing this is not a priority in Italian society, and even once you are accepted, you can still be the subject of discrimination, even at the highest levels. This is what Cecile Kieng has discovered. In April, she became Italy's first black minister, and her task is to promote integration. But that goal is deeply unpopular with the anti-immigration Northern League. Recently, a prominent member, Roberta Calderoni, compared her to an orangutan, while another said she deserved to be raped. I want to make everyone understand that racist insults like these are not just addressed to me, but to all of us. At the moment, we're focusing on making people understand that diversities are a resource which can help bring Italy out of economic crisis. This diversity enriches and enhances our own identity. That's why we're working on the citizenship law. The law she's trying to change affects children born in Italy to migrant parents. As it stands, they have to wait until their 18th birthday before they can apply for an Italian passport. Faim is 17, Bangladeshi by blood, but Italian in spirit. He makes videos about some of the 650,000 children like him who feel like they live in limbo. We went to school in Italy, we speak Italian, we eat Italian food, we must be treated like Italians. At a state level, it is not accepted that we are here, and there is a new generation. They don't accept today's reality. They believe that whites should be with whites and blacks with blacks. Parliamentary debates on immigration are often accompanied by racist comments in Italy, but remarks like Roberta Calderoni's, while shocking, rarely have serious repercussions. Despite requests from Italy's Prime Minister, Calderoni has refused to resign, and members of his party even defend him. In a time of extreme globalization like the one we're living in, we need to defend our identities, traditions and local roots. For us, there is a basic principle. First, we have to preserve the rights of Italian citizens, and then maybe the others. It's not just politics. Racist insults are a regular feature in sport, too. In January, the entire AC Milan football team walked off the pitch in protest after one of their black teammates was insulted by the crowds. And it's incidents like those that are sparking much-needed introspection in Italy. But progress is painfully slow. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, Rome.